Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are appreciated. I'm sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. Uh, any negative plan, any evil plans of your enemies against you and your loved ones are being dismantled as we speak. Whatever the enemy stole from you is being returned to you as well. Judgment has been called. Okay, so listen. The world spell has been coming up a lot in my head. So I think that's a message about that. So we're going to get into it. Someone there's a masculine, like a king of pentacles, doing some type of spell work behind the scenes. Uh, this man wants you to, um, you know, fall in love with him. Someone has their eyes set on you. They may know that you're not interested in them, um, but they want you to believe that you two are meant to be. You two are what people today call soul twins, and I use that term as well. So today we're going to cover what an actual higher level soulmate is, your soul twin, and what a soul companion or aka twin flame is. So let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? So someone is, we have the hermit out here. Someone has been doing a lot behind closed doors. Someone is doing a lot of research. They may be Googling, Bing, doing all kinds of stuff to research how they can get you to fall in love with them. You know, like when they, they don't know about spirituality or anything like that. And they don't really care about spirituality. But they have their eyes on you. They're interested in you. Someone has a lot of lust for another person. Uh, so they know you're not interested in them or you don't pay them any mind. So they've decided that the route to take is to in indulge in spell work. And this person has been doing this for a while, sending you a lot of energy. When you have first met this person, you would have been wondering, eh, what the heck is going on? You know, but you didn't think romantically of this person. They may have sent, sent you some type of work of uh, black magic behind the scene. You will have found yourself thinking about this person occasionally and you didn't know why. Well, this is why, darling, it's because they're doing spell work behind the scenes. They want you to be interested in them, okay? Someone, did, someone is a recluse in their life right now, but this is not them naturally. That is not them naturally. This is someone that is reprogramming themselves, but not in a genuine way. This is so they can fit the idea partner for you to they're trying to become the ideal partner for you what they think you would like someone is going to a lot of practitioner this is a plan again <laughs> this is look listen sometimes when i say stuff and my cards are confirming them it absolutely like freaks me out sometimes but i'm getting used to it um i haven't been doing tarot for like 10 years or something i've been doing it for about a year i had other platforms that were uh stolen or some people were tampering with it so i was just like i'll start over so this is i think like my third platform i'm doing now we'll see how it goes i'm not living in fear like oh they're gonna steal my platform that's not me if it happens i'm just gonna start another one hopefully you all find me <laughs> but anyways Someone, this is a plan, okay? This is a plan to block some type of genuine love from coming into your life. People are aware of what this person is doing. They're telling this person how a soul twin is supposed to act. I mean, how a, a twin flame is supposed to act. But what I'm getting is that whoever you are, you're not focused on love at this time in your life. Maybe you're like myself. Love is like on the bottom of the list. Um, but you're not focused on that or you're not someone that looks really into twin flames and things of that nature. So whatever this person is doing behind closed doors is probably not going to work out in your favor. They may plan to invite you to some type of uh, gathering or something of that nature. Just so they can have any type, some type of, I'm, I'm exposing this person right now, by the way. 
just so they can have some type of interaction with you. This could be someone from your past that you don't even talk to anymore. Um, this is absolutely a set setup. Someone feels betrayed that this message is out. This is also someone that betrays some of you. Um, and they know you don't want anything to do with them. So this is their way of reconnecting the two of you, reconnecting with you through disingenuine means, right? So I'm going to check my uh, camera really quickly. I've been having some hiccups. Everything looks okay. But this person is absolutely up to no good. Someone, it's like someone wants to have a family dynamic, but the lifestyle they are accustomed to living is contradictory to that. Someone met you and then they decided, well, I have to be a brand new person. Oh my gosh. If you're a woman, oh my gosh, she is a goody two shoes. She's all perfect and things like that. She's an earth angel. I have to, you know, change myself. And the whole time, all this person really had to do was just be themselves. And then you will have decided if you wanted to have a family with this person, if you wanted to move forward with this person, because that's always the best option is to be yourself. Someone does not have to like you. People don't have to accept you. If you know, you are worried about how someone is going to view you. You got to change a hundred things about yourself in order for them to like you. You two are probably not meant to be. So let's go ahead and discuss what a soul twin is, aka a higher level soulmate. So your higher level soulmate or your soul twin is the being the energy that you separated from source with at the same time. So this person is an exact replica of you. There are per se the male version of you and you are the female version of them when you are incarnate in you know flesh and things like that in the spirit realm gender is kind of irrelevant but um when you two separated from source you and this being separated at the same time right so this is what makes you a soul twin uh, to this person and them to you, right? You reflect each other. You mirror each other, basically. Uh, you two have similar personalities, way of thinking, way of doing things on a spiritual level. You two resonate on the same frequency, things of that nature, right? Now, when you go to the soul companions or the twin flame, this is when toxicity kicks in, but it's not always toxic and I will explain, okay? So the soul... The uh, uh, soul companion or twin flame in the spirit realm, you are part of a soul group. So these are your friends. Kind of think of it like when you're in school, high school, middle school, whatever. You technically sometimes will have a group of friends. A lot of the times you will. If you're not uh, antisocial like myself or socially awkward like myself, you will have a group of people that you're technically friends with. You all hang together and things of that nature. And they all have different personalities in the group. This is how it is in the spirit realm, right? So that is your soul group. Now, in, these are the people that are like your soul companion. So when you two, or uh, when you are incarnating, if there is a lesson for you to learn, sometimes these, the members of your soul companions or your soul group, who are the members of your soul group will form a contract with you, right? There's a lesson for you to learn. So they may incarnate as your, let's say your pimp, and they will be pimping you out or something. There's a lesson for you to learn in that situation. You may end up having some type of toxic attachment to that person. Your purpose in that contract is to learn how to break free of that person. Because as, uh, as we incarnate, we have to incarnate into these different forms, different forms of expression of life on the planet, right? Um, so as you incarnate, you're learning different lessons during each carnation. So you may have maybe incarnated as a dog and you have to learn what it's like to be a dog. There was a lesson that you were supposed to learn as a dog. Uh, initially, you may have maybe incarnated as a rock and maybe your purpose was to learn patience, right? Stillness, right? You had to learn patience basically. Or maybe you had to incarnate in an ant colony that taught you how to work together as a community teamwork, basically. So there's a purpose in every lifetime, every incarnation that you do. You just have to be able to learn from the lifetime, learn the lessons so that you can ascend to the next lifetime or, you know, fulfill your end of the contract. 
So this these twin flames that we tend to mention a lot in in our readings are twin, uh, soul companions. These are what those are. These are people that you incarnate with, uh, intimate partners that you will incarnate with to learn a lesson. And oftentimes how it's set up, when you incarnate with these people, there is a time frame for how long you're supposed to be with them. And what happens is that sometimes we don't learn the lesson we're supposed to learn as far as learning how to let go of those toxic people. We will hold on to them as long as possible um, because we have some type of toxic connection with them. Maybe there's some type of financial benefit being with this person. Maybe the SEX game is really up notch, whatever it is, okay? And you tend to attach yourself to these types of people instead of letting them go. The longer you hold on to them, the longer you're extending that contract the more toxic you're becoming and your karmic lesson you have to learn is expanding as well right so that's what the twin flame is you don't want to be in a twin flame twin flame relationship for longer than you need to be they are just meant to be lessons but when we incarnate in human flesh i told you something about a king of pentacles who is this showing up on the bottom a king of pentacles um so when we incarnate the lessons we're supposed to learn we need to learn it as quickly as possible and be on our way okay and if you fail to learn it as i said you're extending your contract for no reason and you're going to have some type of toxic uh attachment to this person you will find yourself incarnating with the same being same soul for multiple lifetimes because you haven't learned the lesson um this is why some people they don't realize that they've been with they've been battling the same juicy bell energy for multiple lifetimes um but then it'll click for them in a specific lifetime maybe they go to like a guru a practitioner or something and they'll tell them hey you have a karmic soul tie with this person this is not your first rodeo with this person you need to drop this person like heal whatever wounds you need to heal with this person if you need to pay them off so they can go on their merry way and you can move on your way then do that if you just need to distance yourself and disappear but you're your overall goal in the contract is learn how to break that cycle of toxicity and just repeating the same thing over and over. This is why sometimes people are in relationships. They don't feel fulfilled. Um, this is because sometimes the partner is doing magic. I'm telling you the God's honest truth. The partner is doing magic behind the scenes to keep a hold of you, to keep you trapped and binded to them. Uh, either sometimes because they are insecure, immature, they are not self-sufficient, so they rely on you for money and they know you don't love them, you don't want to be with them. So they're taking actions behind the scenes to do magic and things like that they will sometimes turn your families and friends against you so that you can feel isolated to the point where you feel like they are your only friend your only uh, a true supporter right whereas the meantime the whole time they've been working against you so there is absolutely someone working behind the scenes trying to get you to fall in love with them i don't know if you are a queen of pentacles or who you are but this person wants you to see them as genuine they want you to see them as genuine they want you to if they're from your past they want you to reunite some type of friendship some type of genuine bond with them but it's never going to be the same nothing is the same twice in life that's what makes it special no experience is ever going to be going to be the same twice this is why when people even people that get married to the same person like twice it's twice or three times is that what's the point at this time just just cut it out just cut it out you got divorced the first time and then you go and get married again get divorced like, why are you wasting out of, out of us time like just either date until you are done or just go your separate way like you're either going to stay together or you're not. I've never understood that. Yeah, they're coming in to cause illusions to you. They know you're someone sincere. They know you're someone uh, 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 genuine. Um, you may have been the only genuine person they had around. Or they see you as this and they want to have some type of family dynamic with you. But if this person wants to have a family dynamic with you, they need to do it the right way. Um, and if they're going through all of this heartache to get you to fall in love with them, then this person is not healed. They need to do the work. 
to you because if you i'm telling you i'm telling you if this person is doing the work to manipulate you and you end up in a relationship with them it's just going to set you back darling it's not worth it it's not worth it. I think there's something wrong with me. I don't think, tend to emphasize a lot of importance on getting into relationships anymore. Or maybe I just grew the heck up. Whatever it is. But I don't have anything against love. I am a hopeless romantic when the love is genuine. But if it's not something that's genuine, I don't want nothing to do with it. Stay away from me. That's how I am. Like, even with friendships, if it's not genuine, stay away from me. I don't want nothing to do with it. Okay? So, I'm not a love hater. I'm ab I'm absolutely 110% for love. Only when it's genuine. I don't want nothing to do with that fake it till you fake it in the public. We look like we are the ideal couple. And then behind closed doors, we're toxic as can be. I don't want nothing to do with that. Okay? So, anyway, someone is practicing uh their introduction how they're going to appear how they're going to approach you right things of their nature nature just be absolutely mindful someone is going within about you queen of pentacles they're remembering that you are someone that is absolutely bold you took charge of your life to kind of thrive forward in to thrive uh someone was possibly aware of difficulties you were facing and they had the opportunity to change things for you make things better for you but someone did not do that um you maybe decided to take some type of different path in life um which is absolutely fine and it looks like it's going to work out for you with this eight of wands out here uh you may be receiving some type of uh good news and things of that nature you're going to be experiencing some type of growth acceleration and abundance in life and this has a lot to do with your genuine nature you are very sincere you teach people a lot you're showing up here in the hermit energy and the queen of pentacles energy which means you're someone very wise and your wisdom is going to lead to a lot of abundance you're someone beneficial to have on a team as a friend as a mother as a you know sisters so a companion a confidant right so being in connection with you leads to a lot of different new opportunities and this is what's ahead of you queen of pentacles um you have a lot of new beginnings new uh, uh uh, um streams of incomes that you are about to be getting a hold of you're someone extremely abundant with the fact that you are showing up as someone genuine as well that's a beautiful thing that means that you are actually uh, um passionate about what it is you do you care about what you do it's not more so about the money it's more so how you feel and what you know um, that you are doing for other people. That's what that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, but please be mindful with this person that's coming towards you Do not put a lot of emphasis on love right now You don't want to end up in some type of toxic karma that you were toxic cycle contract that you were never meant to be in because even in the spirit realm if you didn't have a contract with someone and you incarnate and you end up getting with them you have formed some type of bond you bonded yourself to that person and in the next life when you incarnate you'll have to learn how to undo that okay so just be just be cautious with everything it is that you are doing i'm not saying live in fear stop talking to people but just be in the know that when you choose to do something whether good or bad there's an aftermath okay so let's go ahead and get into this reading you absolutely have a prosperous future to work ahead of you someone may be trying to connect with you because they know of this um you're taking some type of new path in life people wanted you to be afraid they didn't want you to be assertive within yourself people wanted you second guessing yourself like oh i don't know if i should take this path it doesn't seem really certain if you were working a nine to five i'm telling you this king of pentacles is still at the bottom there's a king of pentacles that may be doing some type of voodoo he do she do they do co do we don't do collective because we don't have to do that but there is someone doing some type of voodoo behind the scenes for you to see them as sincere i am absolutely telling you all the truth someone wants you to see them as sincere they've cloaked their energy very well per their uh, conclusion they think that they can mask themselves okay oh yeah uh-uh it's not going anywhere it's not going anywhere whoever this is it's not going anywhere someone may be losing a lot of money because they put in so much 
they've invested so much into this whatever it is they are doing so that you can find them appeasing someone there's something to interfere with your forward movement your income and things like that they may have betrayed you before and they know you don't you're not interested in them or someone is aware of what was going on and they think they are going to come in and be a captain safe or hoe day or something like that um there is something this person is losing um because of what they did or what they permitted someone had an option to change the trajectory of a situation, basically to turn a toxic and unfair situation in, and balance it out into something positive, but they chose not to. And now someone may be behind the scenes trying to cause, you know, some type of awakening in you where you think you are their soulmate, but it's not going to be happening, okay? They may have withheld some type of promotion from you some type of abundance from you like something you were working on and they know you cared about this whatever you i'm telling you this person is not leaving the bottom of this deck he's refusing to leave he keeps reappearing oh lord they knew that you were passionate about something it meant a lot to you and you invested a lot of energy in it when you were supposed to reap your harvest they and their uh, uh pals minions partner in crimes whatever we want to call them they all did something to cause some type of stagnation right they may have been expecting some type of payout or something to go to them but it's not going to them right because they caused you a loss they ended up experiencing a loss themselves okay you were guided to go within and take charge of your life and just move forward focus on your uh, uh, uh your healing and things of that nature not focus so much on what you lost but just stay concentrated stay focused stay committed to whatever it was you are doing and as you can see even though they cost you a loss in the past you are still moving forward you have the seven of pentacles here in the reverse and then the eight of pentacles so you didn't really lose anything what was meant for you is still coming towards you you've perfected some type of craft some type of business if you own products your product is products are where they need to be in quality um, if you have some type of skill, you are perfectly where you're supposed to be. You are a master of your craft now. So this is leading to abundance for you. And this is what people didn't want. So in the past, you were supposed to receive some type of promotion or elevation. And these people interfere with it. This could have been someone from your past. Someone also, the same person from your past is going through loss. So it's like, it's like a... a, a that saying from one of my free, uh, favorite readers channel, life is a projection of the energy you put out. This is what's happening. The energy they put out for you is what they are experiencing. So someone could have lost a job or they lost a promotion or some type of payout, financial payout, something like that because of what they did to you in the past. Someone was advocating for you to be uh, shorthanded when they should have been supporting you. And they never thought that things would be balanced out, but things are absolutely being balanced out, right? I'm seeing it. They should have advocated for you. They should have absolutely advocated for you, but they betrayed you. Um, and now they may be wanting to come back to celebrate with you, and that's not going to be happening, okay? Some of you are about to be elevating in life, um, and the people from your past are going to want to reconnect with you. Do not allow it. I don't even think Source or your ancestors are going to be allowing these people in your energy because they just know how disingenuous these these people are right it's like a whole clan a whole gang coming up against one person to ensure that you don't succeed only for you to succeed um and then you know they are embarrassed disappointed that they lost against one person and then it's all then it becomes a oh well if we can't beat them join them but the most high is that i don't know who you're joining but it's not my child you stay over there okay yeah whoever this is they are going through some type of like their security is interfered with they are not as secure as they used to be not even at their job so someone could end up losing their employment and this is absolutely either a friend someone you were friend with or someone you dated and they're having fun memories of you but you don't have any fun memories of this person there could be a queen of pentacles here as well that's facing difficulties she may have tried to steal something from you that was meant for you she knows 
knows that you are genuinely gifted and talented, genuinely committed to your work. And she did something to interfere with you receiving a promotion at work, um, which led to you losing some type of financial stability. And this is what she's going through. She was expecting to thrive in life um, because of something she blocked or something she received instead of you receiving it. But it looks that balance is being brought into this situation. This woman absolutely caused a lot of illusions and things like that. And she probably never thought that it would be found out. Um, she could be, some of you, this woman, this is someone you had some type of genuine friendship with. This is someone you were sincere with. She may be wanting to send you a message and things like that about some type of a, a, a wrong that was done to you in regards to your work, in regards to money by a king of wands. Um, but I don't think you care because you already know your future is bright because the most high is protecting you. Someone may want to give you something. A queen of pentacles may want to give you something, but there is some type of ulterior motive because this woman is going through some type of ending as well. Okay. Uh, someone's, someone was working with the enemy. So there's a king of wands behind the scenes that is absolutely, yes, he's lost protection. He's lost protection. He's going through some type of financial, uh, uh, um, like right now is that he's having a pinch penny it's not so much much that this person is poor they're not poor this is a wealthy person but they're not wealthy in the sense that they can just splurge anymore like this person is still okay they can still pay their bills. They can still keep the fancy car. It's probably paid off by now. The house may be paid off or not paid off, but they have enough money just to pay for those expenses. They can't take trips anymore to uh, uh, Hawaii or to Paris or, uh, you know, wherever else they want to go, Singapore. They can't take those trips anymore because they have fallen from grace. This could have been someone you had some type of soul twin uh, 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 calling with. This could have been someone you were supposed to be with, but they betrayed you with this queen of pentacles. And that group that we saw earlier in the three of pentacles, they all came together to collaborate, to take you down, to interfere with something, to block you from receiving something. And it looks like things are being balanced out. They are going through the same thing they put you through, especially this king of wands. He has really fallen from grace. He has lost protection. Whatever contract you had with this person is absolutely gone. Will not be coming back. That contract is void. It's gnawed for this lifetime. This person may never be able to incarnate with you again. Listen, this was your, you had a twin flame relationship with this person. This was supposed to be a high level soulmate. Uh, this was going to be a true bond. Like this was like a soul connection. And we like to say twin flame, twin flame, but this is not a twin flame. This is a soulmate, a soulmate connection, okay? A soul twin connection. That person you separated from source with at the same time, this was this person, but they betrayed you. So even you can see that even when we incarnate in flesh, our soul twins can still betray us. And that is just how it is. These are some of the source console we put in put on our path that are unexpected and they're testing us the whole time to see how committed we are to ascending and if we're going to do the right thing like are you going to connect with this person just because they are your soul twin even though they betrayed you even though they did this they did that even though they have toxic ways they like to date karmics and things like that are you going to sacrifice your ascension for them absolutely not not me uh -uh. no thank you nope you're going to learn your lesson where you are. But this person has fallen from grace. This is not someone for you to partner up with anymore because there will be no equal give and take. There will be no teamwork. You will be doing all of the work and this person will be sitting back and just kind of watching you and benefiting off of the fruits of your hard labor. Okay, so this is not someone you want to be partnering up with. This is not a divine masculine anymore. Because this is someone that will betray you again. If they will do it once, they'll do it twice. Okay? Or more. So just please be careful. Please be careful. You all know I like to preach on my channel that uh, you should never be in a hurry for anything. I know loneliness 
happens, we feel alone. We all feel alone. We're human. That's part of our nature to want to interact with other people, to want to be in love, to want to be in a relationship. But what you should want is to be in genuine connections with people. Uh, if it's a love relationship, you want that relationship to be genuine. You want you don't want people wasting your time. So stop rushing into connections just because you you and someone had a spark at the beginning of your meeting or just because someone's bad game is on point or something. That is childish and immature as heck. This is like the women that go around fighting women, other women, because a man instrument size is very big and they don't want him laying with someone else. And it's like, and that man is going to do what he wants when he leaves his house. So you can yell all you want, fight all you want, cry all you want. If he's not healed and he does not have good intentions for you, guess what? As soon as he leaves your house, he's going to Keisha down the block to put it on her too. And when he leaves her house, more than likely tomorrow, he's going to Monica's house to break, uh, uh, break her back in as well, as well. And when he's done after that, on the weekend, you best believe Felicia is coming over at his apartment so he can break her back in as well. So there's nothing you can do. You can cry blood, you can sweat tears, you know, pass out. Oh my God, he's cheating. I mean, that's not going to stop that man. He's probably just going to stand there and watch you make a fool out of yourself. Some of them will be, you know, courteous enough to get on the floor with you and tell you, girl, you got to get off the floor. Why are you doing this? I told you, I love you. You're my girl, right? The whole time, he and Keisha are texting each other. When are you coming over? I'm on my way. She's on... She's here acting a fool, and I'm trying to help her off the floor. And you know what Keisha is sending him? Uh, LOL emojis, laughing out loud emojis, laughing at you. So, honey, invest your energy in the things that are worthy of your time, okay? If you got to be single for 10 years before you can find the right one, stay single for 10 years. Thank you. Nobody has time to be wasting on Tyron and whoever else. Tyron is 52, 70 years old, talking about now he's ready for, ready for what, Tyron? Nobody has time for your nonsense. Have you all seen that uh, meme with that picture of that 70-year-old man talking about no judgment? I'm finally ready to settle down. Sir, who are you settling down with? Like the old folks in the nursing home because we can check you in real quick. Like I can I can refer you to a few nursing homes that you can go to. But I bet you none of these women out here are about to hook up with you unless you find a 70-year-old woman that's finally ready to settle down herself. Yeah, you need to go sit down. Look, look. I swear my ancestors be on it. <laughs> We're going to need you to go sit down, sir. We don't have time to waste with you. Talking about, I'm finally ready to settle down. Settle down with who? Like, no one is available. Like, what, do you want us to help you buy dentures or something? Laugh at your corny jokes and stuff? What the heck? Like, you want us to like, what, what the heck do you want us to do with you, sir? Read bedtime stories to you? Like, come on. Come on, get it together. Are you trying to trap us in a, 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 a home health aid situation? We're about to be taking care of you. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. I didn't sign up to be a home health aid. I signed up to be your partner. Okay, so I'm going to need us to grow old together. I'm not saying that you have to be the same age as me. Uh, people that know me know I have a, like, a, 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 I have a preference for dating older men because they're a little bit more mature. Except, Lord Jesus, please don't let me have to tell this story. I've never had good luck with dating the right older person. It's always, like, the immature ones. So, anyways, hopefully ancestors fix it. But... Nobody has time for this nonsense. You don't take care of yourself and nothing. And you know you get in a relationship with one of them. And five years later, you're having to... Uh, mm, no, nope, 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 nope. Sorrows, sorrows, sorrows. We will not. Okay, take care of yourself. Settle down. There's nothing wrong with settling down. If you're not ready to settle down, that's a different story. But don't wait till you're 70 years old to realize that you want to settle down. You... you you're bugging. You're BSing us. 
Anyways, Queen of Pentacles, your abundance is absolutely coming in. Things are moving forward in your favor. Why your soul twin, higher level soul mate has fallen from grace, things are moving in your favor, right? You are staying committed and focused on your destiny, your path, and things like that. The new path that you chose to take is absolutely the right one for you. This is why we have the Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune together. Whatever change you made, whatever new direction you took, was absolutely the right one for you and is leading to abundance for you. And this is abundance from the most high. Okay. Lord, I feel like I'm back. I am the back. My people, we are back. Anyways, if you notice like my last few readings, I've been like, um, what in the world is going on? Like someone is trying to steal my sauce. Like, <laughs> give me my sauce back. What's wrong with you? Anyways, you're you know, things are moving in your favor. Something is coming to you from the most high. And the Most High is blessing you with this because of the amount of work you've put in and what you are willing to do. It's like there were so many obstacles in some of you's past that people did not expect you are to overcome, but you overcame those obstacles some way, somehow. And guess what? It was by the grace of the Most High. It was by the favor of the Most High. It was not something that you did by yourself, okay? You had the will to... to uh, uh, survive to keep going but the most high was the one that gave you the strength when you couldn't see in the dark the most high illuminated your path for you okay sometimes it felt like you were in pure darkness you didn't know if you had lost yourself you were going to lose yourself if you should just give up you didn't know where you were going but you kept moving forward and while you were in dark in the darkness moving forward going through that dark night of the soul there were people throwing swords in your back that you didn't deserve but you said i'm still going to keep pushing and you have made it out and these very people are now watching you and saying oh my god what have we done right because these people know you never want to do anything you never want anything to have to do with them anymore like you don't want you don't wish them ill because of the fact that you've gone through healing you know what it means to move on with your life genuinely you don't have any ill intent for these people you're, you're not bitter at heart you're not hateful you're not spiteful you're just moving on with your life gracefully on your merry way and you're just telling them you know saranara you know wish best wishes you know do what works for you, but I don't want to be part of that. We don't need to be friends. We don't need to reconnect. No, nothing. You want brand stinking new. Someone wants to reconnect with you from the past, but you want brand new. You're like, mm -mm -mm. been there, done that. I want something new, right? You're about to be connecting with your soul tribe members. A lot of good friends, people that are loyal to you, and you're going to be loyal to them. Listen, like, listen. Linda, Linda, listen, listen, Linda. I said loyalty in the page of swords is a loyalty card. These are people you want to have on your side. They're young, vibrant, and feisty, but they are loyal. This is like the best friend you want to have because as soon as you say someone mess with you, she said, Who the heck mess with you? Where are they at? They're pulling out their sword on your behalf, even if you didn't ask them to. Loyalty. So you're about to be making some good friends that will be absolutely loyal to you. You won't have to worry about people betraying you anymore, whether you knew them or they didn't know them. Okay. But the most high is definitely blessing you while your enemies are going through downfalls as they well deserve. People are trying to end you at all costs. I'm telling you, they wanted you out in the cold, but you have brand new doors opening up for you. You could have walked away from an institution and things of that nature. They were trying to steal your abundance and things like that, but it's been taken from them. You have a brand new beginning. You're like, you're like, I don't care what's going on. I don't care who's doing what, who's not doing what. I am going to still survive. I'm going to keep pushing forward. And you did just that. And in the midst of your sorrows, your difficulties and things like that, your setback, the most high is that hey, darling, I have this for you. And your enemies are about to be sitting back like, what? How is he getting that? How is she getting that? What? We thought she was dead. We thought he was dead. He should not be here by now. She shouldn't be here. Nobody cares what she should. should. Shut up. Be quiet. Tetois. Femme la bouche. Okay? Femme la bouche. Anyways. You are about to go through prosperity. 
it's like you are about to go from like you know those kids where they have that story those people that have the stories from going from the slums of africa you know they call our places slums so we're gonna use that today to appease the you know small minded people they think everywhere in africa are slums or villages or something <laughs> okay so you know some of the stories of those people in Africa that come from the slums and go to be millionaires and things like that and it's all about the favor of the most high and they'll tell you stories about things they went through in their life and you're just like how in the heck did you make it out of there you shouldn't be here today this is some of you some of you are going through this right you're coming out of nothing basically some of you have lost so much because of what people have been doing to you behind the scenes and they never expected you to recover but you are recovering this there are institutions that you have stepped up to help you but they shut their doors in your faces there are people that you have helped you but they shut their doors in your faces new opportunities were blocked People were working with uh, other parties behind the scenes to block you from receiving opportunities. They wanted to seclude you in poverty. But the Most High said, mm -mm, child, child, just keep your eyes on me. Stay focused on me. And I promise you, we will see this through. And you did that. Now, I know there were many nights, many days, and you were probably like, oh, I can't do it anymore. I'm tired. I give up. You said it physically, you said it verbally, but guess what? The next day, what did you do? You woke up, you took a bath, and you showed up to work, even though you didn't want to. People smiling, you didn't feel like smiling, but you put on a smile anyway just to make the day go by. I know, honey, trust me, we've all been there. I know. Okay? And you're being rewarded for your strength, your brave bravery, your tenacity to keep pushing through. And a lot of the time, that's all the most high wants from us is for us to just trust it and to keep on moving forward. No matter how dark it seems, no matter how hopeless things seem, just for you to keep moving forward. Okay? And you did that. Now you have people that may want to come back in to bring balance, give you offers that they should have given you in the past. You don't want that. The Most High has better for you. The Most High absolutely has better for you. Whatever the enemy think, enemies think that they stole from you, they didn't steal a thing from you. You always had better up ahead, right? And violence has been brought into this situation. Things will be going in your favor. You will be seen for exactly who you are, a true light to the world. Someone that's very wise. Uh, uh, beyond their years, someone that people have a lot to learn from, someone that has a lot to give to the world. That is who you are. So don't absolutely allow on you people. I'm telling you, privileged, privileged. You're stepping into privileged. You're coming out of this. This is what you were supposed to receive and it's still insured for you. People had you in some type of energy of like and things like that, but you're stepping into privileged and you're going to tick off so fast so fast honey so fast you've had to manage quite a lot juggle quite a lot some of you have been walking around with you know like a, a, a your resting bee face it's not that you're a bee but you just know you have so much going on and sometimes people don't make the effort to understand like we all have life going on so sometimes you may show up at work a little bit agitated it's not that you're taking it out on people but people want to get reactions out of you so they'll do they'll poke the bear poke the bear poke the bear and then when you finally respond you say oh i told you she was a b-i-t-c-h i told you he was a b-i-t-c-h and if it's someone from the other race that is not socially aware socially acclimated they'll say i told you that negro right there is not one to be associating yourself when you see how he behaves you see how she behaved i told you but they're not going to tell people what they were doing to put by poking the bear they didn't they don't they're not going to say that they're just going to say i told you that's not one for us to be socializing with for us to be a, 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 a associating ourselves with just be mindful keep these things in your mind because these are the very same people you're going to be seeing on your way up the ladder and they are going to be watching you every step of the way because you are fascinating, darling. And the universe wants them to have a front row seat at your elevation. Okay? Okay. The King of Pentacles keeps showing up. 
He keeps showing up. He has something to say. He's hiding something about himself. He don't want us to see that he has a cloak personality and energy. But we know, sir, we see you. You're not about to fool us. Some of you, however, you do have a new partnership with a King of Pentacles that is genuine. But there is absolutely a King of Pentacles that's doing some type of work behind the scenes to get you to fall in love with him. I mean, we don't have time for that. We want genuine connections. If, it, and if it's not genuine, we don't want nothing to do with it. Okay? Go find somebody else to do it. Go find somebody else to do it. This person is going through karma. It's what I'm being told. He's going through some type of karma. This is someone toxic as can be. Someone toxic as can be. I wonder, you know that Charlie Wilson son when they said, Hey girl, how you doing? My name is Charlie. Hey, last name Wilson. I was wondering if I could take you out, show you a good time, invite you to my house. Girl, here's my number. You know, I wonder if a karma comes, if she sings a song and she say, hey boy, how you doing? My name is Extra, last name Karma. I was wondering if I could take you out, show you a good time, invite you to my house. Boy, here's my number. I don't know why I'm so petty, but I wonder if like, she just decides to give him extra karma. He's like, my name is Extra Karma. For you, it's extra. Okay, extra sauce, extra pain, extra lessons for you, more lessons for you. <laughs> I don't know why my mind works like that, but that's how it works. So I'm going to be okay with it. I guess I'm okay with it. It doesn't bother me. I have like a weird, quirky, stoic personality. Like if I don't know you, I don't really like, like, I don't, I don't really like get out of my bubble for you, but I'm, I'm kind to be around. I'm not nice, but I'm kind. Um, so when I do things for you, I'm actually doing it out of the kindness of my heart because that's something I choose to work on. I used to do things for people at my own detriment and I had a really hard experience where I had to learn how to let that go. So now like when I do things, I make sure like, hey, is this something I really want to do? Uh, not because I feel like I have to do it. So now when I do things, it's because I actually want to do it. But if you ever meet me, I'm like a quirky, stoic person. I'm like a sweetheart with a sword. Um, <laughs> It's a very interesting like combination. It's that you don't people don't really ever people hardly ever know what to make of me. They're like, is she nice? Is she a B? Is she both? Honey, I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna have to figure it out for yourself. I don't have ulterior motives for people, but I'm complicated like everybody else. Okay. <laughs> But I'm like really quirky. Like I got no weird one that knows a little bit about every little thing I shouldn't know about, like different topics and things like that. But I don't like share it loosely. So I could be sitting across from you and you all are talking about something and I'll know about it, but I'm not gonna be there. Oh no, it's not that. Like, you know, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to find out for yourself. I don't have anything to prove. But I do wonder, does she like ever like just be singing a song like, I was wondering if I could take you out, you know, all serious and stuff. Take you to her house so she can all feel like you, excuse me, you remember when you was messing with my star C. I beg, it's time. It's time to balance this situation out. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, yes. Someone wants to heal a friendship with you. I don't know if you want to collective. It's up to you. Someone may be taking some type of quick action towards you. Um, and I think it's because they know that you are in this. You have this abundance coming towards you. They may want to come in and give you some type of fake offer as well. For some of you, someone received some type of message about you that you are maybe not doing so well. And maybe they want to come in and take some type of action to come in and assist you. But again, just be mindful right be mindful of the person you're receiving help from make sure they don't have any ulterior motives from motives for you and things like that um really ask them like if someone gives you money 
ask them like what is this for why are you giving me this right i hope you don't expect me to do anything funny for this because i don't give favors like that for money so if you're expecting anything in return i don't i, I will appreciate if you take it back if they cash app it to you and you ask them like the questions and they're just not being straightforward with you and you just don't feel easy about it send it back you don't want to end up binding yourself because sometimes people will do spell work behind the scenes um and then when you accept something from them it's like a contract people are very trickery like i've had people asking hey can i send you this and they'll ask questions in a way where it'll seem like it's genuine but if you say yes then you're allowing them like the 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 dark workers some of them this is how it works they will ask you something listen i said dark workers and then this is down at the bottom who ancestors you are, are on it you're on it like sometimes dark workers you know they'll set up a question in a way where when you uh answer like yes to it that is you giving permission for them to enter into your life right let's say someone asks you let's say okay so i have my uh information on the platform for tarot readings if you are interested in doing tarot readings personal tarot readings right and someone maybe sends a message and they're like hey can i email you or something like that sometimes there's ulterior motives behind that because obviously my my email is already on there so if you want to email me obviously you already have the email address and you can just send the message and I'll either read it and respond or I'll just read it and disregard it if I don't need to take any actions. But they will say, hey, can I email you? But the moment you say yes, that's them seeing it as you giving them permission to enter into your life, to send you some type of work or something like that. So you have to be careful with the gifts and stuff you are accepting from people. Sometimes people have some type of spell work they put on there uh, to cause you to do you something so just be mindful don't be quick to just take things from people you're not like in desperation for anything if you are a star seed you should be trusting the universe to see that all of your needs are met so you don't need to be in a hurry to be accepting anything from people um but someone wants to heal a friendship with you they're hoping that you two can seal the karma waters and things of that nature uh someone may be coming in to give you some type of abundance it is something from the most high for some of you but again i'm advising caution caution okay is that someone is having fun memories of you they're like oh i remember like you we used to do this like someone wants to regurgitate the past but you're not really thinking of the past. You're more so thinking about the present and the future, just kind of moving on with your life, doing what you need to do to manifest a new reality and things like that. So you may not even be accepting an offer from this person. For some of you, someone may want to make you some type of offer where you move to another location to be with them and things like that or to work with them. Please think really hard about, about that because you don't want to leave everything behind to go be with someone and it doesn't work out and then you have to start all over especially if you don't know anywhere anyone where you're going that's a hard situation to be in okay there's no one around you to ask for help the person you went there with or for has turned their back on you so you're kind of just stuck and isolated you don't know what to do so please have a backup plan okay please have a backup plan Listen, all these, see, Lord have mercy. We have a king of wands out here and a king of swords. Some of, some of, some of you could be working with a king of swords that wants to uh, manifest some type of new reality with you, like a business or something like that with you. Um, this is someone that's gifted. Someone like understands the arts of speaking things into reality materializing their thoughts their desires and things like that but they're hard working though they're committed to their their journey okay someone is absolutely a master at yeah i figured something was here someone is absolutely a master at manifesting but i'm not sure if they're manifesting the right thing like there's ulterior motives is what i'm getting and this king of swords could be going through some type of financial like as well it's almost as though other people 
they were collaborating against you or going through some type of loss. It's either they lost you, they lost a connection with you, they lost a genuine friendship with you, maybe a romantic in a situation with you, or they're losing some type of financial abundance. Maybe they used to live a luxurious life or something and they're not living that anymore. Maybe they lost a really good high paying job lost a marriage, something like that. They're all losing something and it's not over here. They're going to keep losing because this is how hard they were coming for you, right? So the universe is going to make sure that each person serve their karma. And some of these people won't be able to fulfill their contract as far as karma in this lifetime. Like they will have to reincarnate just to pay off the karma that they, the, the, the act, just to pay for the karma, just to pay for the things that they did to you all, basically. Someone was paid, basically, to, this king of swords could be, like, a, 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 a either a police officer, someone in law, someone that was in charge in some way, shape, or form around, form around you. Uh, you could have worked with this person, but he was paid to do some type of malicious thing to you, like, either betray you, lie, forge a document, something of that nature, steal money from you or block some type of mon money or finance from coming towards you, okay? And he's going through loss himself. Um, someone is going through loss. I'm telling you, yeah, justice has been called, judgment has been called in this, to this situation. Your ancestors, are, the angels are interfering on your behalf. They're like, hey, hmm, hold on, hold on. We know you feel that you're all powerful and all, but we're more powerful than you. We're the real powerful ones. And this star sea has called on us to bring balance into this situation. So we at we are at the star sea's uh, surface. Whatever they request is what we do because they are in alignment. What we want is what the star sea wants. So it is off with your head. <laughs> Just kidding. But it's just they're they're defeating people on your behalf, basically. So what you cannot do by yourself, they're doing it for you on your behalf. Okay. And judgment, judgment has been called on this king of wands as well. I'm telling you. So they thought, yeah, they thought they were going to block some type of opportunity for you, but there's a new path. New path, new path, new new path, new opportunity. Endless opportunity. Like, you took the right path, literally in the nick of time. Like, you were not supposed to... Some of you were not supposed to be here today. Some of you were not supposed to figure out what's going on. Some of you just... There's something going on where you should not be here today. You should not be victorious, but you are. You were able to move on with your life. Like, get away from those crazy people. And now you have limitless opportunity. Like, the possibilities are limitless for you. You have, like... So many uh, uh, new adventures coming towards you. Some of you are about to be traveling the world, you know, opening up multiple businesses and things like that. New friendships, new alliances that will be genuine. Just a lot of positive energy. Um, and that is because your ancestors or your angels uh, interfere on your behalf. And a lot of the time, we'll say ancestors or your angels. A lot of the times, there's really no difference depending on how high ranking they are. Sometimes your guardian angel will be an ancestor reincarnated. So if you lost a mother, maybe she will incarnate. Well, not incarnate. She will, you know, uh, uh, be your guardian angel, right? Um, depending on the the depending on their ranking in the spirit realm. So um, it could also be like a long lost relative from your past, your lineage or something that you've never met. Um, but they have a contract with you in this lifetime. So they will be your soul guide, right? They'll be protecting you and things like that. You technically have, you typically have the same uh, angel that protects you. So when you separate as well from source with your soul twin, your angel separates at the same time with you. Um, so they are your protector for the entirety of your existence, right? But from time to time, when things get difficult, there are certain things that other angels or other guys are more equipped to help you with. So you may have a different soul guide or angel that's protecting you or guiding you at that time of your life. But you overall have the same angel that protects you for the rest of your existence. You two are very well acquainted with one another. Um, if you are someone who is, you know, into spirituality and you are awakened, you will feel very much 
in the know when your angel is around. And sometimes you and your soul guy, you'll become so immersed and comfortable with one another that you two will become one. So you are your soul guy and your soul guy is you. So when people see you, they're seeing the physical form of your soul guy. And if they can see you spiritually, they're seeing your, 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 your soul guy, right? Lord Jesus, I don't know if some of the stuff I say on my channel I should be saying, but honey, we need to know these things so we can get out of this matrix. Like they've been keeping us in this matrix for so long. My goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't like that. I don't think you all like that either. Okay, yeah. Yeah, a decision has been made. You made a decision. Like, you did something, and this keeps coming out. You did something to make the wheel go in your favor. You took some type of direction. You were supposed to choose the wrong thing. Whatever it is that you did, whether you spoke it out loud, whether you did something physical, you made a decision to go a different route. And by choosing that route, it ensure your victory over your enemies. Like there's nothing, I'm telling you, this, this King of Pentacles here, you are getting on my nerves. Like he just keeps popping up. Like I'm here, I'm still here. I don't care if you don't want to talk about me. I'm still here, you little heifer. I know you see me. <laughs> Sir, we see you, but you are showing up in this energy. You're trying to mask this energy, sir. We see you. You're not about to fool us. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You stay over there, sir. You stay over there. You're out here lusting for people and trying to get them trapped into some type of toxic union. Mm-mm, Lord. Your victory, ma'am, sir. Collective. Your victory. Whatever action you took, uh-huh led to victory for you and your enemies don't know what to do they don't they don't even know what to make of you like it we know for sure you are not one of us because none of us will survive what we did to you you are you hearing that none of them will survive what they did to you what they put you through but they still went ahead and did it to you cold listen i said cold and the queen of swords came out now the queen of swords <laughs> We'll leave that for another day. The Queen of Swords are people that are intellectual. They don't even a lot of the times they don't they don't entertain their heart space. It's that uh uh, I'm here for the truth. I need you to tell me what's going on. <laughs> don't try to BS me around, okay? But collective, whatever path you took, it was the right one. It was the right decision. It was the right decision. You couldn't have done the done any better. And I keep hearing that you finished something ahead of time. Like you've been in like a matrix or some type of maze. And people didn't expect you to get out of their maze as early as you did. So it was all booby trapped for you in this maze. Not only was it hard for you to find your way out of this maze. People put booby traps in there for you. Is that, let's see if he finds this, if he can overcome this. Uh, let's see if he can find this and he can overcome this. Did the same thing to you, ladies. And lo and behold, you made it out. And there is still time on the clock. They're like, you're, she, he shouldn't be out. No, we have to look this over. Someone get a plane. We got to go over. We have to hover and see if he cheated, if she cheated. And they're like, wait, hold up. Nothing is disturbed. They didn't cheat. They didn't use a shortcut. You want to tell me they did this the right way? Like they actually faced all of these obstacles we put in front of them and they actually made it out of this mess. All put together, still looking fine and stuff. Dang. It's a whole clothing. Toxic people. But some of you is a toxic couple. You might be dealing with a toxic Karen with some type of superiority su superiority complex. Like she thinks she's better than you because of her complexion, but it has nothing to do with that. As we know, it has stuff to do with your character, your moral ethics, your mental, your, uh, 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 your intentions and things like that. And someone has very deplorable 
moral character, deplorable, everything. Someone is a, a deplorable person, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Ill intentions, does not care about what they're doing, but there's money attached to it. So that's all they care about, okay? And they thought they were gonna defeat you. Nah. -uh. Yeah, like you, you're, let's see, Queen of Pentacles, Hermit, whoever you are, <laughs> Your life is about to be beautiful. Beautiful. You're taking charge of your life, moving forward. You know the universe supports you, and you are just like you're like a force to be reckoned with. You're a force to be reckoned with. You could be one of those people that show up in like a Queen of Cups energy, and people just assume that you can just do whatever you want. What what they can just do whatever they want with you, and you're just like, I don't think so. I don't think so. That's not happening. Yeah. So, anyways. You're about to be having a whole family of your own. Prospering in life. Building a whole empire. I'm telling you. But to have everything. Loyalty. Someone is coming in to give you loyalty. And they know you're going to be loyal with them. You two are going to have a genuine compassion. Genuine uh, connection. You're about to be connecting with your soul tribe. They're going to be very loyal to you. You all will be acquiring some type of high knowledge and things like that. People didn't want you studying something for some of you. They didn't want you going to school, uh, perfecting your craft and things like that. But you're about to be connecting with your soul tribe or getting in a relationship with someone that will understand you on a soul level and they will let you be you. The weird you whatever that means right because we're not really weird we just direct our own destiny we decide what path we're going to take and it looks like you did that uh so this person or this group is going to help you embrace this side of you they're going to tell you to bring it out a little bit more if you're feisty be feisty they know you don't have any ulterior motives right and you're, you're having before even uh before all of this happens you have a good news coming in about money about resources collaboration like you're about to be on top of the world you are about to be on top of the world okay you're going to be achieving abundance because of your spiritual gifts for someone out there i don't know if it's something you're hiding you don't feel comfortable with but it's something that's going to bring in your abundance but don't do it because it's going to bring you abundance don't do it for money because do it because you care because you love it okay yeah and listen just everything i say you're about to be abundant because of your spiritual gifts okay your spiritual gifts listen abundance i'm telling you abundance you're about to be abundant because of your spiritual gifts like you'll be one of those people where where like your clients they know they can trust you they can be open with you they can share anything with you and they know you're not going to go put it on social media you're not going to go tell uh someone else you're not going to tell becky because that's none of becky's problems or business um, you're going to keep it to yourself. So people are going to know that they can trust you and you're going to be advocating for them and things of that nature, right? So whatever spiritual gifts you have, and some of you have spiritual gifts to heal people, look into the future, get downloads from the spirit realm, all kinds of stuff. It's going to be extremely beneficial for you. So take time to perfect those gifts. Get acclimated with yourself, right? Get comfortable with yourself get even more in alignment with your higher self some of you are about to be unlocking new gifts and things like that and it's going to be very much beneficial for you again okay let's go ahead and get into this re for some of for someone here and this is a past thing or something i'm seeing there was a high priestess and a either a mother figure or a wife figure working together to cause some type of ending but balance is being brought into that situation you probably didn't even know that these two were working together they were possibly involved in that collaboration there was a mother working against her son as well like either she didn't want him to be with you or she something she she did something either this was a mother 
or a wife, a baby mama, someone that's a mother figure. She betrayed someone really close to her. She was paying a high priestess to look. Honey, we're gonna leave this read on a positive note. That's their family business. Let them figure it out. Anyways, collective, you have abundance ahead of you. That's what we care about. Let the Johnsons figure out the Johnsons problems. Collective, you focus on collective problems. Okay. Anyways. Source. Source, what is your... Listen, Source is always on time. I'm going to do another one. Source, what is your... Laura, you know what? <laughs> Okay, so we have five, okay? You have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. I am adventurous. And this year is about to be adventurous for a lot of you, okay? We have zero, which has to do with fresh starts and things like that. Um, starting over, new beginnings, things of that nature. You are one with the creator and there are no limits. Why am I not touching this? Let's touch this. Let's bless. Let's touch this. Let's, let's touch. Okay. You are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. I am a creator. Absolutely, we are all creators, okay? Thank you for watching, Collective. See you in my next read. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.